You're at the tender age of 46 years old. Your heart is so weak, it's only beating at 10%. Your liver's failing and your kidneys are failing. And you have such severe gout that you have near golf ball sized nodules on many of your joints. You're told that you need a heart transplant, but you're not sure if you're strong enough to undergo it. And your medications are simply not working. What would you do next? Welcome back to Montgomery Heart and Wellness, and we have another clinical round for you today. This is a 46-year-old man who flew in from the West Coast, had severe heart failure. I was in the hospital, diagnosed with CHF. I was told that I would need a new heart. Doctors back in California wanted to, me to get on the transplant list, and uh, I didn't think that was a good idea. I had been familiar with Dr. Montgomery's work over YouTube, so I decided to fly to Houston, give him a try. He presented to our clinic in a bad physical state. He was very edematous, abdominal swelling, a lot of painful joints because he also had a lot of inflammation with gout. He was dependent on diuretics. He couldn't walk down the hallway without becoming out of breath. In fact, he had been admitted to the hospital just days prior to coming to our center. And he arrived here 20 pounds overweight. We had to give him IV diuretics. In fact, we did that multiple days in a row at our center, as we customarily do. So we were treating him both with some allopathic therapy as well as with our interventional approach. Got him on a smoothie feast right. with super greens in it and then he started getting infusion therapies within the first few days is that correct right so he got the plaque x infusions mm -hmm. that you know helps pull out plaque from the arteries and improve kidney and liver function so that was great for him because he had the multi-organ dysfunction. And the smoothies have lots of antioxidants. We had lots of greens, lots of algae. So we boost the antioxidants because that's important because when we start the ozone, the ozone creates some oxidative stress. Mm -hmm. So we want to make sure that the body has lots of antioxidants. That was a, a nice approach to sort of add on to those things. So he went the first week, I think it was a week and a half. And then what did we have to do about his eight fit? Well, we ended up having to cardio hurt him so we put him in the hospital and you know pre-treat with amiodarone but you know getting him out of atrial fibrillation can help increase cardiac output as well and then therefore improve renal function and prevent the backflow that's causing the liver dysfunction. And the important thing you mentioned is that we start him on amiodarone and many of you if you have heard of amiodarone you can just pull out the package insert and do a, a quick search and look at the side effects. And it's gonna be a long list of side effects on amiodarone, including with the liver, the lung. However, we would confidently start him on amiodarone because it's a very good antiarrhythmic drug, especially for someone who's at atrial fibrillation. We were using it in a targeted fashion for a finite period of time. So it's not the same as just sort of blindly giving someone a medication just because it's on some recommendation list. But we had a specific purpose for using a finite period of time for a specific outcome. And as it turned out, it worked out quite well. Well, I went back into sinus rhythm and I really believe that helps work synergistically with everything else to help mm -hmm. his ejection fraction increase. And so here the medication and allopathic treatment, the cardioversion and the allopathic treatment being integrated with the nutrition the regenerative therapies and the like made a big difference in his outcome. Mm -hmm. And so even though his ejection fact started at 10% over time with more infusion therapies, including the ozone therapy, the detox diet, eventually went up to what? 30%. 30%. Initially, when I got here, I was really fatigued. I have a lot of energy now. My joints are looser. I'm less stiff than they were from the gout, especially my knees. He had much improvement. Kidney function got better. Liver function got better. And he was much more mobile, had less joint pain. So he was in much better shape when he left. Now, we still have more work with this patient. However, this patient made a remarkable turnaround in a short period of time. He was somebody who was in the hospital, if I recall, roughly, every other week yeah. fluid overloaded and in fact when you came here probably justifiably could have been put in the hospital upon arrival an amazing impact this integration of regenerative therapies and in this case is a great case where we integrate the nutrition regenerative with allopathic medicine many of you hear me talk about get them off the medication get them off the medications but i'm not totally against medication they can be used but it should be used in a targeted fashion for a specific purpose not blindly just because it's on the recipe i think you would love here. 
think it, it would be a good experience. The healing starts from the root cause, not trying to band-aid things. So I would say this is a great start. I hope that was informative and insightful to you. And as usual, leave your questions and comments in the comment section. And until next time, take care. Thanks for watching. If you got value out of this video, please like it, subscribe, and hit the notification button.